Welcome to Canada. This is our first week here, uh, and as you can see, we've done some skiing. Um, we've travelled up from Vancouver all the way to Whistler. First, let's talk about Vancouver, because we did spend a couple of days there, um, and there's lots to do there. It's a really, really beautiful city. Um, still, there's loads of mountains around. I feel like that's kind of normal for Canada, but it is incredible. There's Stanley Park, um, which you can uh, hire a bike for or just walk around. It's massive. Um, there's so much to see, so that's really good fun. Yeah. And then there's also um, the Science Museum there. You can walk along the docks. Um, yeah, there's walkways around the whole city, around the whole seawall. Um, just walkways for miles and miles. There's so many trails you can go on, ride a bike, and you can rent scooters, segways, all that kind of stuff. We also went to Granville Island. Um, and it's got this massive market there. It's really, really cool. Um, you can get all your meats, your chocolates, your sweets, uh, yeah. anything you <laughs> anything you want, you can get there. There's also some nice little um, shops there as well, which you can go and do a bit of uh, holiday shopping if you want to. Whistler was definitely one of our favorite places that we've been on our trip so far. It's just the snow, the mountains, the, the town itself is just incredible. The resort is really yeah. good. <laughs> uh, the, and then we did get to stay in a hotel, which was nice. <laughs> Probably helped us liking it more, but there well, you go. We, we were only meant to stay there for two days, and we ended up staying for four. Um, and we don't do that very often, so yeah. that does mean it was a pretty special place. Um, and it is magical, especially in spring, because some of the snow is melting, um, so you kind of get the best of both worlds. Yeah. However, if you are a beginner skier, we would recommend going in winter time because a lot of the green slopes, um, which are for beginners, uh, were closed. Yeah. So it was just advanced and intermediate. Yeah. So if you like like me, you've not been skiing before, don't come up in spring, otherwise you just, you, you're not going to be able to ski because you can't go down intermediate and advanced slopes without probably falling over a million times. And also then we decided to do some snowmobiling, because why not when you're in Whistler? And we'd never done it before, um, thought we'd give it a go, uh, it was lucky that it was on this late in the uh, season, yeah. and it was so good. It was amazing. <laughs> Uh, probably the best thing I think that one we of the best things it. we've done. Yeah, it was so so amazing. I definitely recommend it. You can stop and take loads of pictures on the way if you do the beginner one. Snowmobiling is quite similar to quad biking and uh, riding a jet ski. So if you've done any of those before, you'll have no problems. Yeah, uh, definitely book intermediate because you can go straight up the mountain, nice and fast, and you'll have a great time. Yeah, cool. here it is. <laughs> And as you can see, we're here in the Rocky Mountains in Jasper. We just come up the Sky Tram, so um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This will all be in the next video, so make sure you stay tuned for that one. Subscribe for updates, like it, share it, do what you normally do, and um, we will see you next time. We will see you then. Bye. Bye.
Oh, 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 oh,